This is the Music History Today podcast for August 24th. On today's show, Sinead O'Connor makes a stand and Beyonce makes a statement, and a rather expensive one at that. First up, though, on this date in 1956, Elvis Presley recorded the song Love Me Tender. In 1966, the Youngbloods recorded the song Get Together. In 1967, Keith Moon of the Who drove his Lincoln Continental into a Holiday Inn swimming pool in Michigan. The Who were banned from Holiday Inn hotels worldwide after that. In 1967, same day, every Beatle except for Ringo attended a lecture that the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi gave in London, England, and afterwards met him for the first time. In 1969, John Lennon wrote and recorded the song Cold Turkey. Also on that same day, the movie Alice's Restaurant, based on Arlo Guthrie's song of the same name, premiered in movie theaters. In 1977, Waylon Jennings was arrested for cocaine possession, but the charges were later dropped. In 1979, the film Rock and Roll High School, starring the Ramones, was released in the movie theaters. In 1981, Mark David Chapman was given 20 years to life for the murder of John Lennon. In 1990, Sinead O'Connor refused to play her concert at a stadium in New Jersey if the American National Anthem was played before her concert. In 2008, Ed Robertson of the Bare Naked Ladies and his family were involved in a small plane accident. They all survived. In 2009, the group FX was formed. In 2015, the group April was formed. In 2017, the boy band In Real Life was formed. In 2021, Spencer Eldon, who was the baby on Nirvana's Nevermind album cover, sued the band and the people who worked on the album photo shoot, saying that it was child pornography and claiming emotional distress because he was nude on the cover as a baby. Okay. Well, moving on. In 2021, Beyonce became the first black woman to headline a Tiffany jeweler advertising campaign, and a very expensive campaign at that. Congratulations to her. In classical music, in 1787, Mozart finished his violin and piano sonata in A. In theater, in 1914, the musical The Girl from Utah opened on Broadway, and in 1980, the revival of the musical Oklahoma closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on August 24th include in 1964 when Ben E. King released Young Boy Blues. In 1968, the Ventures released The Horse, and the Jeff Beck Group released Truth. In 1970, Aretha Franklin released Spirit in the Dark. In 1982, R.E.M. released the EP Chronic Town. In 1983, Rainbow released Bent Out of Shape. In 1984, Mark Knopfler released the soundtrack to the movie Cal. In 1987, John Mellencamp, or as he was known back then, John Cougar Mellencamp, released Lonesome Jubilee. In 1988, Corey Hart released Young Man Running. In 1989, Squeeze released Frank. In 1992, Kylie Minogue released her greatest hits album. In 1993, The Alcoholics released 21 and Over. Annihilator released Set the World on Fire. The Bob Dylan 30th Anniversary Concert Celebration Various Artists Disc was released as well. In 1997, Shaggy released Midnight Lover. In 1998, Maloko released I Am Not a Doctor. In 1999, Christina Aguilera released her self-titled album. Louis Vega released A Little Bit of Mambo. And Elton John released the soundtrack to the movie The Muse. In 2004, The Rolling Stones released Jump Back, The Best of the Rolling Stones. Steve Earle released The Revolution Starts Now. And Donovan released Beat Cafe. And in 2010, Katy Perry released her mega-selling album, Teenage Dream. Singles that were released in the UK on August 24th include in 1979 when Michael Jackson released Don't Stop Till You Get Enough and the Little River Band released Lonesome Loser. And in 1998, Madonna released Drowned World Substitute for Love. Meanwhile, in America, in 1964, the Beach Boys did a twofer. They released When I Grow Up to Be a Man and She Knows Me Too Well. 
1964, same day, the Beatles did a twofer. They released Matchbox and Slow Down. Also on that same day in 1964, Roger Miller, nah, he didn't do a twofer. He just did Chug-a-Lug. In 1967, the Rascals released How Can I Be Sure. In 1976, Donna Summer released Spring Affair. In 1979, Prince released I Want to Be Your Lover. In 1985, John Mellencamp, known as John Cougar Mellencamp at that point, released Lonely Old Night. In 1999, Creed released Higher. In 2009, Pearl Jam released The Fixer. In 2010, Mindless Behavior released My Girl. In 2012, Little Mix released Wings. In 2017, Taylor Swift released Look What You Made Me Do. And in 2018, BTS released Idol. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 24th include DJ Alan Walker, Mark Bedford of Madness, singer Pebbles, John Bush of Anthrax and also of the group Armored Saint, Andreas Kisser of Sepultura, Jeffrey Daniels of the group Shalimar, Michael DeRozier of Heart, singer Robin Pakalin, singer Justine Skye, rapper Justin Rari, Danny Joe Brown of Molly Hatchet, composer Jean-Michel Jarre, Jim Fox of the James Gang, Ken Hensley of Uriah Heep, Malcolm Duncan of Average White Band, Jim Brady of the Sandpipers, John Cipollina and David Freeberg, not born in the same year though, of the group The Quicksilver Messenger Service. Guitarist David Freeberg, by the way, also played with Jefferson Airplane and Jefferson Starship. Marshall Donald Thompson of the Shy Lights, Colin Angus of the Shaman, Ernest Wright of Little Anthony and the Imperials, blues man Big Boy Crudup, blues singer Wynoni Harris, Louis Teacher of Ferrante and Teacher, songwriter Mason Williams, singer Jimmy Soul, rockabilly singer Carl Mann, Winnie Winfield of the Harp Tones, O'Teal Burbridge of the Allman Brothers Band, guitarist Kiki King, Pianist Bob Settergreen, drummer Jeffrey Gilbert of the group Cutlass, country music singer Kristen Osborne of She Daisy, singer-songwriter Jackie Toen of American Idol fame, rapper David Brown, a.k.a. Boy in a Band, music director Alan Ainsworth, percussionist Freddie Brockseiper, and jazz pianist Alphonse Trent. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 24th include composer Thomas Bullis Jr., who passed away in 1712 at the age of 54. Composer Andreas Neller passed away in 1724 at the age of 75. Composer Carl Cushman passed away in 1841 at the age of 36. Composer Albert Sammons passed away in 1957 at the age of 71. Pianist Kenneth Layton passed away in 1958 at the age of 28. Conductor Leo Bletch passed away in 1958 at the age of 87. Composer Henry Lee passed away in 1962 at the age of 74. Composer Maurice Shoemaker passed away in 1964 at the age of 73. Jazz saxophonist Don Bias passed away in 1972 at the age of 59. Composer Slava Vorlova passed away in 1973 at the age of 79. Composer Michael Head passed away in 1976 at the age of 76. Singer and band leader Louis Prima passed away in 1978 at the age of 67. Composer Frederick A. Fox passed away in 1980 at the age of 80. Trumpet player Bill Coleman passed away in 1981 at the age of 77. Composer Paul Creston passed away in 1985 at the age of 78. 
Country music singer Nat Stuckey passed away in 1988 at the age of 54. Session drummer for Motown and country musicians Larry London passed away from heart issues in 1992 at the age of 48. Singer and actor Gary Crosby passed away in 1995 at the age of 61. Jazz pianist Tet Montoliu passed away in 1997 at the age of 64. Arranger Gene Page passed away in 1998 at the age of 58. Guitarist Alexandra Lagoya passed away in 1999 at the age of 70. Trombonist Warren Covington passed away in 1999 at the age of 78. Composer Raymond Wilding White passed away in 2001 at the age of 78. Saxophonist Noble Watts passed away in 2004 at the age of 78. If you're figuring that a lot of people died today at the age of 78, you would be correct. Folk music singer Caleth Morales passed away in a car accident in 2005. He was not 78, though. He was only 22. Hal Kalin of the Kalin Twins also passed away in a car accident in 2005 at the age of 71. Opera singer Leopold Simonou passed away in 2006 at the age of 90. Composer James Tenney passed away in 2006 at the age of 72. Tommy Gao of the group The Crests passed away from cancer in 2014 at the age of 74. Singer and songwriter Tony Colton passed away from kidney failure in 2020 at the age of 68. Riley Gale of the group Power Trip passed away in 2020 at the age of 34. And legendary Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts passed away in 2021 at the age of 80. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 25th, when in 2007, in one of the strangest stories you'll ever hear, singer Arthur Brown literally caught on fire while performing. <laughs> 